Hello friends, I am Ramya Ranjan working as an assistant professor in Biani Institute of Science and Management. Today I am going to, on behalf of Grip Kripio, today I am going to take class on gestational age, how to calculate the gestational age of a mother and something about antenatal visits of a mother. So let us see the gestation, what is the gestational age of the mother. So it is measure of the age of the pregnancy which is taken from the woman last menstrual period. So gestational age is the measure of the age of the pregnancy. Gestational age is the measure of the age of the pregnancy and which is taken from the last menstrual period of a mother. Then let us see uh, the pregnancy is the pregnancy length has been estimated to be 280 days and 40 weeks. The total pregnancy age is the time duration of the pregnancy of a woman is 280 days or in terms of weeks we can say that it is of 40 weeks. Then we can see uh, what is the um, gestation, uh, just gestational age of the mother is taken in the antenatal period. Uh, every uh, uh, in a pregnancy the mother take the antenatal visits during pregnancy. So that time the gestational age is taken by the nurse. The one, now what is, uh, let us see that what is antenatal period. When the woman is pregnant, it is important for the woman to have regular antenatal checkups. These checkups are called antenatal care or antenatal visits. That is when the woman is pregnant, it is important for the woman to have regular antenatal checkup so that we can found any abnormalities or is this uh, everything is normal, we can see that time. So these checkup, for these checkup women will go to the clinic. So that are known as antenatal visits or antenatal care uh, or we can say that ki, uh, antenatal means before birth, the time period before birth of the baby. So this time we should take the gestational age of the mother. So uh, in pregnancy let us see how many antenatal visits should take the mother. So every pregnant woman need to take at least four antenatal visits. That is every woman should take at least four antenatal uh, visits during pregnancy. That is the first week the first visit within 12 weeks of pregnancy the mother should with uh, the mother should go the clinic within 12 weeks of the pregnancy so this should be the first week of the uh, checkup then the second checkup between 14 and 26 weeks the pregnant mother should go between 14th week and 26th week between should for a antenatal checkup then the third visit between 28 and 20, 34 weeks that is the mother should go between 28 and 34 weeks for antenatal checkups then the fourth visit between 36 and term so these are the at least four visits the mother should take during pregnancy for the checkups otherwise the mother take visits in 12th week 20th weeks 26 weeks 30 weeks 34 weeks, 36 weeks, 38 weeks and 40 weeks. So these are all about the antenatal visits the mother should take during pregnancy and during this antenatal visit or when the mother come for the antenatal visit that time we should take the gestational age of the mother that is the measure of the calculation of the age of the pregnancy. So. Let us see how we will take this uh, gestational age and the uses of the gestational age of the mother. Why we should take the gestational age during pregnancy. Now let us see the uses of gestational age or why we should calculate the gestational age of a mother. That is um, first is to know the events of the prenatal development. We can know the events according to the gestational age we can know the prenatal development of the fetus then estimation of due date we can know about the due date estimation by calculating the gestational age of a mother 
then second is third is scheduling prenatal cares or prenatal visit we can schedule the according to the gestational age we can schedule the prenatal visit of a mother that we have taken that what is prenatal visits okay then estimation of the fetal viability we can uh, uh, by taking the gestational age we can know about the fetal uh, we can estimate about the fetal viability then estimation of the various risk factors of the mother as well as fetus by taking the gestation list we can estimate the all the risk factors of the mother as well as fetus then now we will t t um, see that how we will take the gestational age of the mother suppose the lmp of the mother is 19 April 2017 when the mother came for the antenatal checkup we should ask first that the lmp of the mother that is last menstrual period so suppose the men mother's uh, last menstrual period is 19th april 2017 then we then the date when the mother came for the uh, antenatal checkup so that is today's date then today's date is 12 december 2017 now we uh, we should check that today gestational age of the mother first we have to ask the lmp of the mother then we should know the today's date of the mother when the mother came for the antenatal checkup now um, from april 19 we can see that in april we have total 30 days by subtracting 19 we will get 11 days in april then next may may we have 31 days in june we have 30 days in july we have 31 days in um, august we have 31 days then in september we have 31 days august we have 30 days september we have 31 days and october we have 30 days and november we have 30 days and december we have that is today's date that is 12 again we can see that in april we have 11 days by subtracting 19 19 is the lmp of the mother in may uh, there is 31 days in june uh, there is uh, 30 days in july 31 days august 31 days september we have 30 days october we have 31 days november we have 30 days and in december that is today's date is 12th now let us add by adding all this we will get 237 days now uh, we should convert it into weeks gestational age is taken in weeks so converting it to weeks we can divide it it by 7 we will get 33.8 that is the mother's gestational age is today 33 weeks and 8 days that is the mother is 33 weeks and 8 days this is the just a today the mother's gestational date is age is 33 weeks and 8 days so these are all about just calculating the gestational age of the mother during every antenatal visit we should calculate the gestational age of the mother so these are all about gestational age thank you for watching my video please like share comment and subscribe our youtube channel